welcome back to episode 3 of Democracy 3. So last time apparently we left off with ending the skill shortage uh, popu po uh, population. Oh, that'd be, that'd be terrible. We, we completely killed everyone in the United States. Well, it uh, looks like I'm out of a job. Well, anyway, we uh, ended pollution much, much better. Uh, sadly, our credit was downgraded due to uh, an economic downturn. Um, we uh, have a nice 69% of uh, the voter populace uh, liking us, so that, that that's good. Um, okay, right now it looks like uh, unemployment is something that we need to really start working on now. Uh, GDP is always increasing in technology. Uh, I think we can probably increase uh, private schools a bit more. How much? Uh, not not having the greatest surplus. Hmm. Well, let's look here. Uh, uh not research grants. That that does re reduce uh, unemployment, but doesn't reduce it very much uh, at the very beginning. You know what? Oh, we we are very much lacking in terms of. Uh, our uh, surplus so I'm going to try to amend that and this is going to be a fairly absorbent tax but you know we got to protect our fellow man and and a woman of course I, I use man to loosely and I think this is a way you know just uh, keep people healthy and not not have so much alcohol abuse and hopefully that will reduce crime as well well, I can see uh, uh, the asthma epidemic going away here shortly since we ended all pollution. I mean, that makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, we could do free eye tests, but eh. Rent controls? No. No, thank you. Okay. Next. Oh, oh we got high productivity. That's going to be great for uh, our, our GDP. And it looks like we're doing great. Oh, poverty increased a little bit, but some things to note. Crime is way down. Education has gone up. Health has gone way up. And poverty, it's still pretty crap. Uh, unemployment's going down and GDP is going up. So those are both good signs. Okay, now what can we do? I, I still think unemployment is a major factor. And I'm still thinking that... Uh, actually going into the uh, education is the way to actually solve it I mean yeah do we have like technical colleges I mean those should actually help with uh, that I don't want internet tax I'm not quite sure where this would be yeah university grants not quite feeling university grants because what university grants actually do in the market actually increases the price to go to universities, so that kind of backfires. Okay, school tax credits. How much is our surplus? Okay, we have a very nice surplus. So yes, I I think I I can handle the. Uh, it was it no? It was tax. Uh, school tax credits, so people get back money, uh, well, get tax credits. A system of tax reductions and t credits designed to encourage people to spend their money on private education in order to reduce their tax liability. This boosts private schooling without involving the state running schools or employing teachers. But its effective effect is limited to those who in society who earn enough to pay tax in the first place. And it does increase uh, private schools, and I'm hoping that means with more private schools, it means with more innovation, which leads to more jobs through more businesses popping up. And hopefully that is what does it for us. Okay. So something I'm thinking about doing here shortly is legalizing drugs. But first, I'm going to uh, put a tax on them, a recreational drug tax. Um, I, yeah, see, it, it's going to give me nothing right now, but uh, I'm going to put it pretty high. And uh, about there, should be fine. And I don't know if it probably costs.
cost quite a bit to actually legalize drugs. Uh, would that be a law and order? I might be. Um, I, I I do not know where everything is. Uh, might, no, no, it's probably not tax economy. Kind of makes sense. Uh, boy, I might be just missing it. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's already out here. Of course, uh, it's right here. Outlawed, legalized cannabis. You know, I could legalize all drugs. Uh, but that wouldn't be maybe a bit excessive. So if I just legalize it a little bit, <laughs> maybe maybe that that's what would fix things. Looks like it uh, reduce. Oh, it increases the drug addiction, but. Maybe I can get some consumption down. Now, uh, it costs 27, of course it does. Oh, let's try to get someone nice. Look, this is law and order. I feel like a good plan is to just look at them and be like, okay, which has the highest? Because honestly, they're going to be following your play style the highest that they are. Unless you haven't really done much in law and order, but I have done quite a bit. So. I'm gonna go ahead and hire this guy at four for four point seven. Seems quite nice. Now we have eighteen, we're gonna get twenty-two, which will put us well over our limit, so we should probably do something with our points. Can't do anything in on abortion. Um nope, can't uh, switch to evolution. Oh wow. Nope, still can't. I could raise it. I don't want to really raise the cost, even though that we're making more. Can raise technical college, technology colleges. Seems fair enough. Um, I think ah, uh, if I would have known, if only I had known, I would have uh, reduced our our uh, roads because we ha haven't really been focusing on that. We're, we've been trying to get people off the road really with imposing these regulations on uh, car manufacturers for better fuel economy the united nations the united nations is pushing for your country to sign a treaty that would ban us from carrying out any nuclear weapons test for future research purposes many other nations have already signed the treaty and are pressuring us to sign through diplomatic channels you know what I don't even want to read this, but I think it, it's fine. We don't really need to do any testing on nuclear bombs. I mean, we're not preventing us from doing anything with nuclear power or anything like that, which is really more important. Okay, we have 34. Uh, income is looking good. So I want to check back here. How much is this? It's about 6.7. So, you know, I am going to legalize uh, cannabis wherever that just went. I thought it was law and order. Yes, it's right here. And that's basically my turn. Economy. Work safety laws, often known as health and safety. Serious measures to employers. Eh. Well, I agree. I think if you're a pretty bad employer and your workers are constantly hurt, you're going to get less workers. Unless, of course, you pay enough that people feel fine working there for that cost, for that for that risk to themselves. And that's 18 again, still. Okay, elections coming up, so we have to do something pretty popular. Credit rating upgraded. We're very much losing popularity. So, detail polls. Why are people liking us less and less? What? People don't like the recreational uh, drugs tax. Oh well, I guess that's uh, something that we kind of expected. No one really likes taxes to begin with. Uh, I think we're going to start focusing on getting rid of some taxes. Considering 
think next turn I am going up for election. So this might be one of the runs that I actually don't make it. I, I was playing a little risky and uh, we'll find out, we'll find out. Okay, foreign policy, he's not in foreign policy at all, so probably not a good hire. Uh, this guy's also not in foreign policy. Uh, you're in welfare, law, and order. If I was going those, he's got a lot of experience, could help me get the stuff done faster, but that doesn't look like it's going to be well. You know what? Youth capitalist, I think I'm going to hire you. Yep. Okay, now what do we have here? Everyone. Everyone just likes the tobacco tax and the carbon tax. Everyone really does like the carbon tax. But I'm going to see if I can get rid of property. No. Can I get rid of corporation? No, I cannot. Um, how about inheritance? Inheritance tax is gone. And next, and we're going up for election. Okay, guys. This might be a short episode. I guess we're going about to find out. Okay. Nope. It, uh, it looks like non-voters are going to win. Non-voters leading the race. Uh, opposition. Yeah. The non-voters win. Now, uh, what, let's see what we did. Okay, breakdown. Uh, ethnic minorities didn't like us as much. State employees didn't like us that, that much. Uh, yeah, I'm, environmentalists loved us. Wealthy loved us. Parents didn't love us. Conservatives loved us. Everyone loved us. So it looks like we were paying fairly conservative because well, the people that loved us the most were oh, conservative and environmentalist heavy because those were the people that voted for us. Commuters also loved us. Liberals, not so much. Looks like I retired to obscurity. Well, that was a short episode. Hopefully next time we do better, and, uh, yeah. I guess we're just gonna have to try again. Well, this, uh, depressed uh, guy's gonna end the episode. <laughs> and, uh, try again later. Bye. If you, uh, enjoyed, like, favorite, subscribe. <laughs> Leave a comment, uh, for the, the next round to maybe suggest uh, how I could do something differently if you don't want me to read everything or if you just want me to uh, explain how the game fundamentally works I can uh, do that instead and uh, or in addition to yeah anything like that uh, just leave a comment and I'll uh, be sure to address thank you guys have a nice day